but you should be able to hear a slight fire crackling sound. Just let me know if you think I need to turn the game volume up a little bit. Alright, okay. Yeah, hopefully you can hear it. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so... We've just been chatting to the Jarl. And... Um, blah, 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 I'm forgetting the controls. And Mish... <coughs> Talk to Faranga, the court wizard. Let's have a little wander around this grand hall, though, first. Oh, hello there. Is it Yelena or Jelena? Yelena, maybe? Welcome. Nice to see you tuning in from Serbia. Good times. Welcome, welcome. Ah, cheers, Olivia. And, yeah, thanks, Faye. Um... Alright, let's have a little wander around. We won't start stealing goblets and plates and things. Not just yet. So here's the areas. Baringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So Sophia can you thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Huh, sounds fun. All right. Where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleakfall's Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleakfall's Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, do you mean this old stone? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleakfall's Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different block than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. So what about my reward? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. He sounds so much younger than I, I thought he was. Who's calling? Um, let me just ask, again, I'm sorry, but Barbara, how... You need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Ooh. Where was it seen? What, what how was very it exciting. I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack <laughs> I think right she heard me. You don't know if you can stop it. Let's go. Let's go, old bean. But yeah... Is the volume okay on the character voices, or are they too quiet? So, Please let me know. How do you become the Thane, Logan? I don't think I've played this game far enough dragon. to actually no, that's right. achieve that. It was coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? <laughs> no, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irlet, we'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You <laughs> survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't I forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. 
I'd mm. please accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. Studied armor of my no. health. Nice. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irelet. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Hmm. When you say the king, do you mean this dude, the Jarl? It sounds cool, Logan. And thanks, Yelena. <laughs> you enjoy, Faye. Alright, what's the plan? What's the plan? Am I supposed to head outside then? I lost, uh, I lost concentration. Uh, find some equipment. Um, escape Helgen. Enter the keep with Helgar. Make your way to the keep. Oh no, that was that was the sorry, that was an old objective. Um yeah, me Irileth near the western watchtower, okay. That makes sense. Can you actually use that as a fast travel? Honestly I can't remember. Sir, we really must talk. <laughs> You've got Let's sixty just seconds. What. Go. <laughs> we really must discuss the security here in Dragon's Reach. Perhaps we could limit patrols in he the city seems very and retain more guards here. All right, yes, I see your point. Make the necessary arrangements. Yes, my lord. I love that he's just staring at me whilst talking to that guy. That was intense. All right, should we head out and actually just try and stick? Um, I'm just trying to remember the controls. Is it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. But yeah, maybe sh we should whoop, try and stick to the mish. Let's get stuck in. Let's collect some dragon meat. Ah, okay, thanks, Logan. Horses and horse-drawn carriages are common means of transportation in Skyrim. Both can handle the harsh terrain. The guards in Dragon's Reach say you aided the Yard. On behalf of White Run, I thank you. You're most welcome, fine sir. I keep wanting to sprint with spacebar. I think that must be sprint in Battlefield because it's becoming an instinct. Someone sounded Hello, rather child of distressed. Hello? Lately, are you chatting? Lately, I am more nursed than priestess, tending to those who have suffered, both in mind and body, from this terrible war. Has the Stormcloak uprising affected your duties? Somewhat, yes. At first it seemed a distant thing, heard only in the idle speech of guards and traders. When the wounded soldiers began to return from battle, I did what I could to help them. As more of the sick and injured came to the temple, my work as a healer became more important than my duties as a priestess. I wish only an end to the fighting, so that I can tend to the temple once more. Hmm. There's an incredible amount of backstory for, uh, like, all elements of this world, really. You're a priestess of Kinareth. Indeed. The temple here in the city is my charge. The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped to make White Run a thriving and prosperous city. After all, it is she who brings rain to our crops and fair weather on the harvest days. Grace of Kinnereth be with you. Grace of Kinnereth be with you. Good 
day. <clears throat> Fear not, come dragon or giant, we'll be ready. I was hoping for the famous quote. Ah, oh, look, it's my cousin. It's my cousin Alan. Also a cat thief. As in a... Like a cat man that steals things, not... Somebody who steals cats, that's just... That's just mean. I sort of want to sprint everywhere at the moment just to get where I'm going, but I think it uh, it sort of jags the screen around in a slightly unpleasant way, so I don't want to make you feel dizzy. So I'll just I'll just go as I am. Alright, we're on track. I was just confused that there was two arrows. I was worried. Oh yeah, yes. Those cat claws, they do some damage. I hope we're doing good in the chat, by the way. Oh, here we go. Action. No sign of the dragon, though. Yet. Right. It sure looks like he's dangerous. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look oh, for survivors. Oh, oh. We need to know what we're dealing with. Action stations. Let's get the old bow out. Can't go wrong with a bow. Where is this scallywag? Is it gonna come out from the sun like some spitfire fighter? Oldest trick in the book, that one. Look at this lad. Oh. Thought you were gonna smash me in the face. Guardsmen, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! Who's messed this watchtower up? Kidder, let's save us. Here he comes again. Oh, is he coming out of the sun? Find cover and make every arrow count. Yeah, oldest trick in the book of yours, I told you. Never should have come. Oh, hello, Smog. Frigging trick. <laughs> so slow good. Am I actually supposed to take that there? Great times. Pop some arrows in it. Feels futile. I feel like it could just burn us alive rather than actually coming down so that we can get into combat with it. There we go, that's toasted. Should we get the cat claws on it and start stabbing it up? Where's he off to, huh? Look at him leaving. He's miles away. I think he's giving up. He knows he's outmatched. Oh, oh my god. 
goodness me. Close boy. Oh, there goes my, um... There goes my cat there. Oh, he's, he's actually gonna get me, isn't he? He's gonna get me. Absolutely toasted. <laughs> I honestly had no clue what to do there. I was just like, alright. Let's give him... <laughs> alright, I'll try and do a better job of that. That was weak. That was very weak. I felt rusty last time. I feel even more rusty now. I was like, alright, I could try and heal myself. Probably no point. Oh, it's put me all the way back here. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, sorry about the sprinting, but I want to get back where I was. Let's move. Let's move. He really singled me out, though, you've got to say. <laughs> he didn't seem too interested in the rest of him. He was just like, alright, I see the weak link. Let's take out the cat. This was more challenging 2.30 in the morning gameplay than I expected. I think I'd have done better on Battlefield. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Come on. Tell me what you've got to tell me. Dragon's been here. Blah, blah, blah. Are you coming? But seriously though, I don't think that it's tactic of actually coming down to the ground is a solid one. I feel like it should just do some Game of Thrones style, like 200 meters up in the air. Burn and, burn and run tactics. Because even with our pathetic fighting, it was still on half health. Are they coming or what? Goodness me. I think I've got all day. Come on. Slow pokes. <laughs> Alright, ah, he's on his way. He's on his way. Should we have a little quick save? Oh, what was it? F5. Okay, I'll try and wake up a bit now and actually do a better job. Let's oh, go straight from there, okay? I just don't want to be its first, like, point of call, you know what I mean? Like, it just goes straight through. I got one in. I got one in, Logan. Gosh, that lady got absolutely torched. She's so brave. Such courage, then. Literally just stood in his face. Like, what have you got? Dragon boy. Oh, yeah, he's picking on her now. I like this. I'm not going to bother trying to get a headshot. Right? Just keep throwing in the arrows. It's not courageous. Doesn't make me big and special or anything. I'll try and finish it off with a cat claw though. Um, it's getting combat. For glory. Oh, oh just too much. Just too much. For glory. Oh, there you go. A slash to the face. All it takes. One hit, one kill. I feel a bit a bit sorry for this guy to be honest. Good shooting. <laughs> he didn't he didn't make it difficult. Um Wow, that's got some value. Arrows. Oh he's taken one of the guards' helmets. I feel like Wow, look at that. Weight 15, value 5. Oh, 
hundred. Yes, please. Um, alright, I feel like... Let's have a look at that armor. I didn't even bother changing to that new armor that he gave me. Like I said, sorry about the mouse wheel. Um, what was it called? Studded armor of minor health. So, 30 armor, and it increases your health by 20 points. Pretty nice. At the moment, I'm using the same, just without the the boost. Okay, okay. Could have been more exciting. I feel a bit silly if I wear one of the guard's helmets. Uh, my current helmet isn't the most fashionable thing I've seen, though, either. Okay, I think I'll stay with that for now. That um, Warhammer was pretty impressive. Kind of cool. Oh, it's less damage than that battle axe, though, so it must be less than this as well. About 19. Um, I would like a new weapon, to be fair. But I want something light and nifty for this character. I was actually thinking, like, how useful could a dagger be? I don't know if you can upgrade your weapons and things, but um, I've never really played around with it. I, I guess that the the attack is a lot faster than with a, a heavier weapon, but... <laughs> Fenania! <laughs> oh, Ancient Nord helmet. That just sounds good, Logan. That sounds really good. Oh, wow. Did I actually gain that shout, then? Already s have I already played this at that? Um, yeah. Optional. Use your new shout power. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Oh, you can just press Z. You don't even need to equip it. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, bless you. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Sorry about that. Oh. I can't believe it. You are. <laughs> I'm overburdened. That's what I am. I can't run at the moment because I'm carrying too much stuff, but... Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That My pleasure, true, Michael. It? I'll just listen Absorb to this guy. Dragon's power. I don't know what happened to me. Well, you can shout now couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Dragonborn? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories <laughs> about the Dragonborn. Those born Instant the legend. Blood in them, like old Tiber Septon himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septon killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal the power. You must be one. What do you say, you left? You're being awfully quiet. She jealous. Come on, you left. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your Ooh. gums in matters you don't know about. It's the green envy. About. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You would punch down the dragon, actually. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. All right, calm it down. You just did. You must be. You really are dragonborn, then. <laughs> they believe. All right, let me drop some stuff. Um, yeah, hey, Michael, and thanks ever so much. Um, yes and no. I've played a little bit of Skyrim about six years ago, and I I did put a few hours in, but I honestly don't really remember very much at all. Um, and I played, I played a fair bit of Oblivion, and I even played a little bit of Morrowind going way back. 
but I've not been into gaming for years. So, yeah, I've been pretty rusty. But, uh, yeah, I've been playing Battlefield 4 online these last couple of weeks and actually doing pretty well. Um, I was mad rusty at first, but um, some of my old Battlefield 3 skills and Bad Company 2 skills were coming back to me. So, yeah, I actually had a fair few uh, decent games um, uh, night before last. Alright, what do I need to get rid of? Give me something heavy and worth nothing. That I'm not using, obviously. Um, I've got so much crap. Excuse my French. Um, at least I can run now. That's a bonus. I'll just get rid of this. Again, not worth that much. Like, the value of that... Like, am I ever even going to actually go and sell these things? I guess I will. Um, it just feels silly. But if I'm actually going to sell them and get some worth out of it, then... No, I don't want to mess around too much right now. But I can at least get rid of... Where's that longbow? Uh, just not going to use them. And they're not worth much. Oh, is that is that the rabbit leg? It must be, right? From, from that beautiful rabbit kill in the last stream. I need to cook that up and um, make sure that that rabbit did not die in vain. Anything else of interest? Um, again, it's like value 125 sounds like quite a lot, but I don't know if it's worth lugging it around or not. To be fair. Um, and like this, I, I'm not going to use it, and I, it's not even worth that much. Okay. Oh, you, oh, right. I totally forgot you can do that. <laughs> um, like, there's no one that can carry my stuff right now, right? But you need to actually have a companion. I love how I just dump all this. Uh, <laughs> just, I would just love to see that in real life. Someone just, like, out of their pockets, just emptying shields and swords and helmets. Alright, so what's the mish now? What is the mish? Um, report back to the Jarl. Yeah. Alright. Report back to the Jarl. I can do that. If anybody is a natural born reporter, it's me. Let's get it done. Are you a Skyrim veteran yourself, Michael? I'm I'm really wanting to play Battlefield now I've mentioned it. I've been really enjoying that. Look at this beautiful little chap. I won't, I won't harm you. Look at <laughs> you, you. Oh, what, 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 what? Did I just do? No. Did I accidentally shout there? Because it's Z to shout. What happens if you shout a deer? Or oh, an elk? Sorry, are you a, are you a lady elk? Actually, did a little bit of damage, but they didn't seem too troubled by it. Not so intimidated by that. Oh, hey, Mango! I was waiting for you to come into the live stream, and then you never did. I was really surprised. I thought you were going to be there for the Tamaria Prince reading, actually. 
Have you been busy today? You've been looking for lost keys. That is not the most fun way to spend your Sunday, I is it? I need to ask you to stop. <laughs> Shouting is making people nervous. I love this response. Too bad. There's more where that came from. Can't say I've heard of any laws against it. Whatever that is you're doing. But I'll lock you up if I have to. Man, couple of thousand hours. That's impressive, Michael. I used to be like that, to be fair, like with certain games. I've put way too much time into some of these old Battlefield games, Call of Duty games. Uh, I was mentioning, um, you know, Total War strategy games and stuff. A lot of Gran Turismo and Forza and, yeah, Left 4 Dead. Also, I don't know, so much stuff, so much stuff. Used to be a big um, Command and Conquer fan as well. No, it can't have been my shout, can it, Logan? It wouldn't have made sense. Does that mean that there's somebody else shouting, though? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, I love it. It's just, it doesn't give a shh. Whatever. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> what a renegade. Just causing trouble instantly. He's got a really, really too big for his boots. Haha. <laughs> Are you playing much these days, uh, Michael? I know you said that real life um, sort of gets in the way or whatever, but is there anything you're you're playing these days? Uh, I was saying earlier when I was um, um, like, I was it just before I was reading Tomorrow Prince? Um, I was saying it would be really really nice to play it online with with some of you. Um, you know, I've been mentioning chess a lot. We're but no trouble. All we ask I ain't done nothing. It's all right, Bree Noon. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, but um, other video games and stuff like playing online with you guys on stream, I think would be really fun. To be honest, I think you're just nervous. I think you're. I think you're anxious to to look silly on a stream or something. But I reckon we'd have good fun. I'm not, I'm not chatting to the villagers, I'm getting over to the owl, getting things moving. Oh, some Fallout. Yeah, I've played a fair bit of Fallout back in the day, but I've not played 76. Yeah. No worries. It, it, it is possible, I'm already way too big headed about it to be honest like if I just drop another shout what do they think about that? if I just start shouting I won't shout at them but I'm just like way oh, okay yeah it's, apparently it's really scaring the villagers but I'm not seeing that I'm not seeing that um, but yeah Fallout 3 I played a fair bit Michael yeah good times Alright, let's let's see what the owl's up to. Yo yo yo. Who's this here. noggin? The owl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. I bet My you are. Needs a word with you. Oh, what you're the bro. The Was the dragon there? Yes. Okay, shall I keep him cocky? <laughs> That's even worse. No, okay, I'll calm it down a little bit in front of this dude. The watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Oh, you're heading to bed before me, Logan. That is not okay. <laughs> it's nearly three in the morning here, man. <laughs> No, you get some rest if you need to, Logan. Always an absolute pleasure to have you in the stream. Absolute pleasure. You take care, Logan. Have some rest. Yeah, read to you soon, Logan. Take care, take care. Alright, I'll keep these questions going, though. Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? 
What do you know about the Dragonborns? <laughs> yeah, go get some shut eye, Logan. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power Sounds from it. True. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Ah, was it the Greybeards that were shouting? The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Yeah, I think I remember this bit. What do the Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thume or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You hear the thundering sound as you return to I, I did actually. I got a bit that confused by it. Summoning you to High Rothgar. I wondered this if I did it. happened in centuries at least. Not since Tybeseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Nord nonsense. Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this what dragonborn. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avanish. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. It's true words. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. Ooh. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a mm, personal husband. That's what Logan was saying. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part <laughs> of the common rabble, now would we? He's a nice chap. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Bodentris. Full you confidence from the elf. Defend. Yes, my lord. Hmm. Let's hope people don't get too envious of this new title. Alright. Yeah, I remember the Greybeards a little, actually. Um, what weapon did he give me? I didn't see the name of it when it popped up there. Uh, why am I scrolling everything when I could just scroll the weapons? Uh, Axe of Whiterun. Yeah, that will come in very nicely, actually. I was saying I would like a new melee weapon, and there we have it. Good, good. Yeah, I didn't even ask Mango, did you find the keys? Oh, is it a two-hander, though? Oh, it's a two-hander. Uh, okay. Okay. But I'll I'll try a little bit of two hander as well, just just to see how it goes. All right, let's just head straight off then and um, see what these greybeards are up to. Let's keep the main storyline moving. I kind of want to sell. Oh, here's Lydia. Morning. Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Hmm. Should we ask her some questions? Go on. I'm a Thane. What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. 
a hero. The title of fame is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. <laughs> and what does a house call do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Pretty cool. A little blood guardian. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. All right, good times. And uh, what what do you want? You're gonna do a bit of sweeping, then? Okay, that's absolutely fine. You just really I'm right behind came you. in with some some feeling. Um, what what can yes, you say? Yes, Thane. What is it? Follow the commands. You've entered the command states. Um, yes, my thing. Hmm. Ask her to attack a guard. No, it's okay. Can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> Can't do that. Um, all right. Anything else? No, we're cool. We're cool. Let's keep moving. Good times. Nice to have you on board, Lydia. Nice to have you on board. Let's move. White Run is looking lovely in the daylight, I've got to say. Love these overturned long boats um, holes. That's very nice. Nice architectural touch there. So how far away are they? Um, um, right. Okay, all right, that's a fair distance. That's a fair distance. Why have I got this custom destination? Yeah. Do we not need that? Yes. No, I, mean, I, I don't. I don't even need to do that. Like I've just like doubled the markers for no reason. But all right, let's move, Lydia. Let's move. See what we find on our journey. If anybody wants to give me advice on where I should sell my things, it's very it's well. Very often. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. There's so many people you can talk to. Like you could basically never leave White Run and never even continue. You there? We're looking for someone in White Run. Mm -hmm. We'll pay good money for information. Keep talking. Who are you looking for? A woman, a foreigner in these lands, Redguard like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. Mm -hmm. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorik still if you learn anything. Why do you want her though? Yeah, exactly. Why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. Mm, if that doesn't interest your boots. you, feel free to walk away. Fair play, fair play. Who are you looking for again? It's none of your concern. All you need to know oh, is that I we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to... We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A red guard woman. She may be somewhere uh, in this city. Okay, I was hoping for some we more. We'll find her eventually. <laughs> I was hoping for some more specific. Maybe a little bit of a broader description than that she's just a red guard. <sighs> giants, giants, giants. Friendly chaps. So, so Lydia, what do you think of this new adventure? Sounds pretty exciting, right? It's a fair walk though, so hope you've got comfortable shoes. Lydia? Uh, Lydia? Can you keep up please? I was saying I hope you've got comfortable shoes, because it's quite a trek. And, um, I don't know, maybe some snacks. 
for the road as well would be lovely. I've got a weird craving for a packet of crisps actually. I don't even eat crisps these days, but just had a weird, weird craving for some quavers. Got Hello. In all of Skyrim. I'd love a horse, actually. Man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. <laughs> That's a weird question. Can I buy a horse? Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Ooh. That's a lot. <laughs> Thousand gold. Um. <laughs> on so second thought, so. I'll look. Wait. Right. How much gold have I got? Six four six. It's yeah. Strong. I'm sure if I sold some of my stuff, I'd actually be able to afford that. We're cool. Lydia, we're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. She says we're cool. Cheers. Cheers anyway, though. Cheers anyway. I feel like this is a scenic route. Are you keeping up, Lydia? Oh, she's just strolling. I do enjoy the scenery, the landscape and everything. Yeah. You can steal again. a horse. Oh my. That's just mean. It's just mean, Michael. I think you're trying to get me into trouble. Just a bad influence on me. Hello. How's it going, Lydia? Yeah, she's fine. She's enjoying the cardio. Grey beards this way. Well, you can do it. So you can go either way around the mountain. I wonder if you can even go over the mountain. I mean, there is a location here. I don't remember how I got there. Um, but it looks like this is the time to choose. Should we do a bit of scrambling? <laughs> you may be right, Michael. No one has acknowledged my position yet. No one has said, like, oh, but you're. Oh, hello. Should we punch the wall? Oh no, I've, I've not got one of those. Oh my gosh, there was no need to set it on fire. Uh, one thing though. I'm just gonna stick with the bare fists, it's just so handy. No pun intended. Go over the north side. You're safe. I scroll around. Um, the north side. Okay, then this should be right. I trust you, Michael. I'm heading due north. Maybe I'll have my bow out instead. I, I feel comfortable with that. Hello, what's the problem? You're running at me like you've you've got something you want to tell me. Oh, thank goodness. I've been wandering alone for so long I thought I'd never see another soul if again. If you try and steal something, knock me out and steal something, I'm not going to be happy with you. I was kidnapped by these bandits weeks ago. They locked me up in the towers near Mistwatch. I managed mm. to pick the lock and slip out while the guard slept, but now I'm completely lost. Mm. Can you help me, please? This feels suspicious. There is a town nearby in that direction. Do you need help getting there? Oh, thank you. But I should be fine now that you've shown me the way. But those bandits have to be stopped. They're at Mistwatch. Here, let me show you on your map. Okay. If you can stop them, you'll be a true hero. Okay, yeah, she's genuine. I love that she needed directions to the to the town. She's like, oh, 
Thank you so much. I had no idea that there was this massive town here with an enormous castle. Well, good luck to her. Good luck. It felt ambushy to me, though. Maybe I've just got a suspicious mind. What happened here? Oh, not you again. Get out of my face, man. Oh, she just headshotted him. Look at that. <laughs> Quick draw. She's like Clint Eastwood. No messing about. Well, good on you, Lydia. These wolves are not friendly at all. Um, yeah, I've watched a bit of Westworld, actually, Michael. I've watched Series 1. Um, did I finish Series 2? I think so. Oh, my God. Ducking and weaving. Um, did I finish Series 2? Season 2? I think so. But I've not watched Season 3. I've heard mixed things about it, though. Have you seen season three, Michael? It'd be nice to have a a review. Keep up, Lydia. Come on. Interesting little bear print on the map here. Um, must be some distance away. That. Interesting over there, but this feels more direct. Although I'm really not sure. I'm I feel like I'm just going to go over the mountain. Oh, you're all caught up. Are you enjoying season three then, or have you enjoyed season three, Michael? Are you coming, Lydia? Are they? F is she fighting wolves down there? What is going on? I just see a couple of wolves jumping about, I'm sure. Yeah, she's fighting wolves. Making her at me a little bit. I'm not hitting these chaps. Oh, dipping and weaving. <laughs> what? How, how do they. Oh, it's rats! How do they know when you're gonna attack? That does no damage at all. Um, this mouse wheel is doing my nut. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How can you have such an epic battle with these? The softies. What's up with you, Lydia? You might be good at dodging arrows, but that's about it. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, it is quite thought-provoking. I agree with that, Michael. I really enjoyed Season 1, uh, for the most part. Season 2... Oh, some storm cloaks. Uh, season 2, I really wasn't sure about. I had mixed feelings. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I might give Season 3 a go at some point. Steel horse, you see. Stealing him from the storm cloaks doesn't feel as bad as stealing him from one of the white run villagers. I wonder if we could take these guys on. Take bloody rat. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to oh, that's what they call themselves. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to Carlos see them. Guide to you. I still, I can't remember what's going on with this whole Stormcloak thing. Because um, I, I just know that they stand against the Empire, basically. But I can't remember the rest of the lore there. It seems like, um, it seems like the Jarl in Whiterun is sort of neutral. Or is he, is he even, Keep your eyes open. is he even allied with these guys? Epic rat battle. I like it. Oh yeah, could have used the shouts. I wasn't even thinking about that. Keep your eyes open. Um, 
how mad are they going to get if I steal one of these? I'm just curious now what Michael said. How bad is it going to get? How bad is it going to get, Lydia? What do you reckon? Should we do it? Just in broad daylight. Alright, quick save. It's the coward's way out. They're not going to be happy. But, what are you going to do? Is that it? Is that the reaction? That was so smooth. Look at the little jump. Lydia, are you going to grab the other one, or...? Are they not even bothered? I'll tell you what, the riding physics are not as smooth as um, Red Dead Redemption. Can you not jump on? Oh, Lydia, you're going to walk and I'm going to ride. Oh, my goodness. Logan's back. Need to finish your bedtime tea. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I stole a horse from these stone cloaks, uh, Logan, and they don't even care. But the only issue now is that Lydia's on foot, so I'm going to have to wait for her anyway. That is a bumpy ride. I think first person's... Can you go first person on the horse? No? I think there's a mod for that. She'll catch up, right? I don't need to worry about her. Okay, this is the northern path. Oh, there's a little dead bunny. Huzzah. I think you can fire off the horse as well. Yeah, that's pretty nifty. Lydia! She'll catch up. Command her to steal a horse. Olivia, you're always the big brain. You are always the big brain. How's the tea going, Logan? I had a cup of tea myself earlier. I was saying that I really fancied one and I... I went and did it. I had a couple of biscuits as well. Living life on the edge. Is it over here? Okay, so now Lydia is just lost out there somewhere. They they do not give a flying that I've taken this horse. Like they've just lost. They've lost all will to fight. Lydia. Where are you? I've lost Lydia. Oh here she is. Come on. Honey and lemon and a spot of booze. Good times, Logan. I see you're living it up as well. Lydia, come on now. I can't remember how you asked her to do stuff like that. I think it was just through talk, wasn't it? Can I talk to you from the horse? No. <sighs> back into sneak mode. Okay, Lydia. Lydia. I've got your back. Yep. I need you to do something, okay? Yes, You're not going to be happy about it. it. Yes, All right. I need you. No, not attack horse. No, 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 no. Oh, look at its little face. It's like, no, please don't attack me. No, I want you to steal the horse. <sighs> Is that how you think? Like, you just think in terms of what can I kill? So it's like, oh yeah, obviously I want to attack this poor innocent soldier with a very cool hat. That is disappointing. I'm sorry, Olivia Big Brain. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Anything I'm, else? Not, I'm not having her do that. <sighs> well, well. You dirty oh, now they notice. That is beautiful. Alright. Ta-ra. See you later. 
Is she gonna have to fight them on her own now? Oh no. Oh, I've got Lydia into a right little mess here, Anna. I'm sorry, Lydia. The first time they didn't care. I did do it slightly sneakily, I would guess, but not particularly sneaky. Now there's about a thousand soldiers. Have they killed Lydia? There's like a lot. I feel like a Mongol. A Mongol warrior. Huzzah! I think I got one. Oh, this got messy, didn't it? Oh, there's a there's a boss as well. A Mr. Head Smasher. Excuse me. Lydia? Lydia? Oh, she's injured. Yeah. I'm gonna fight these guys off. The king and country. Oh, Lydia. I can't believe what they did to it. Oh, I'm running out of arrows. But these are the iron arrows. I must have Nord arrows as well. I hope. Oh, no. They are getting outplayed. shoulder. At least it's not in my knee. Oh, I'm, not sure. I'm, not sure. I'm not running. Oh, sir. This cat is no coward. They're going to pay for what they did. Poor they did. Just worried about my arrows, that's all. Come on. Two left. I'm hoping I've got some Nord arrows as well. I'm packing. Oh, how did I miss them? There's about five. <laughs> Alright, we've got this. I've still only got hit once. <laughs> Amazingly. I don't know how. We're struggling. With the horse tactics. Uh oh, don't want to get stuck in the tree. Oh, I got hit again. Oh, no. But to be fair, I'm going to heal up before I get another hit on this. So. Oh. That head smasher is tough though. Oh, I'm, mo I'm absolutely mongling them out. No, oh, that went that didn't go anywhere near where I am. 
dropping like flies. Oh, move, move, move. Oh. Sometimes the angle is not right. You're going down, head smasher. Another one bites the dust. Oh, how did that miss? No, you why are you so off aim? Me. Oh, down goes head smasher. I'm gonna take this guy out with the claws, I think. Finish it as it should be done. Oh no, okay, I had one arrow drawn. Alright. Where's Lydia? Oh, he's alive! Oh, that was a uh, that was unexpected. <sighs> Please, mouse wheel. All right, it's me. Oh, he's back on full health. Well, isn't that just wonderful? Is he gonna is he gonna batter my bread now? That's not even special. Oh. Means business. Poof. Poof. Finish him. Can I not kill him? Is he going to come back with full health again? What? Oh, maybe he must be a, a story character. Oh, well. That's, where's Lydia, though? Lydia? <gasps> Lydia! Lydia. Oh no. I saw her down on the ground, but I didn't know she could actually die. Oh, Lydia. Ah. Uh, God rest her soul. So y are you advising me that I shouldn't save it then? Is she too, is she too go good to give up? Oh, I'm good. Good. Worse than I'm just gonna knock him down again, just, just for vengeance. Ah, oh, poor Lydia. Just in a pile of bodies. Okay, I'll um, I'll reload it then. After that. After that fun. Poor Lydia. Oh, that woke you up. Okay, reload. But I did have a save there, right? Before the... Yeah, before the silliness. Alright. <laughs> no, I enjoyed that, Olivia. I enjoyed that. That was fun. A bit of Mongol horse archer action. Okay, but we can... <coughs> No, I'll leave the horses be. I feel like I can actually successfully steal this horse, which is really silly. But Lydia, I will not risk your life again. Let's let's go. Fight or die well. So yeah, that's that head smasher dude. He must be a story character because he wasn't going down. Your eyes open. And like I saw Lydia down on her knees, so I guessed that she was going to revive as well, but she didn't. Next Imperial I see is dead. Mm. Think you might be in the wrong place, friend. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You I'll know take what? My leave, then. Yeah, you know what, Hornska. I don't even want to. I don't even want to chat with you because, um, of what your, nine, of your soldiers did. Pre-horse snatching. All right. Well, good day to your horses. It's like now I can see this alternate timeline of how things could have gone with all these soldiers slain by my arrows and um, Lydia slain with them, bless her. <sighs> I got some real good archery stats there as well. But never mind. I was just, I felt like that actually warmed me up a little bit. Like, it might be three in the morning, but that actually got my eye in a little bit. Who's this dude up here? Sorry, I'm just investigating. 
she's valuable, Logan. I trust you. I mean, to be fair, obviously, I don't want... I don't want her to lose her life in vain, you know, just over some silly snow th <laughs> horse snatching, but... Oh, really? You're gonna start now. I'm warning you, back off! What's the problem? What's the problem? Why can't I come and hang out here? What? Do you own these stones? Have you got copyright I'm over these stones? Why? 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 What's the problem? It's a free country. Oh. Really? You gotta play it that way. What's wrong with everybody? You got your little skelly. Oh, skelly archers. Headshot. Have you got more skellies? I think she's regretting this. She run off. She's run off. She's checking out. I wonder if she was healing. But oh, did that kill her? She did. Oh, good shot, old boy. <laughs> yeah, but they must have. That's what I'm saying. They must have a quest or some story, right? for that dude not to be killable. Oh, I was happy with that last shot that picked her off. Um, yeah, that was alright. And their value to weight ratio... Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry lady. I will leave you in peace. Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. Lydia looked a little bit... Uh, a little bit ashamed there. Yeah... But, um, I, f I feel a, a little bit sad to lose my stats that I was gaining from that combat with the, um, with the Stormcloaks, but Lydia's life is worth more than mere statistics, right, Lydia? Right. Okay. Back on the yellow brick road. I hope Lydia appreciates what I did for her there, like, I sacrificed that hard work fighting off those silly storm cloaks, thinking that I could actually kill them. But of course there's an invincible one. Oh, there's a fox! Is it a friendly fox? Are you a friendly fox? You must be a friendly fox, of course you are, you're not gonna mess with me. The fox guardian. Lord of the foxes. Where are you off to? He might be uh, on his way to a live stream to read some stories. I won't, I won't bother him. I won't bother him. He's got places to be. People to see. Alright. It's going to be a long walk, is this? Without that horse. I'll tell you that. I wish I could just jump on one of these elks. Or reindeer. That looks more like a reindeer too. It's gonna be a long walk, Lydia, isn't it? Wouldn't it be nice, Lydia? Lydia. Lydia, wouldn't it be nice if we if we had maybe like a horse each? A pair of horses, that would be nice. Oh gosh, calm down. Yeah, is this an enemy? This has got enemy written all over it. This is this is a classic bandito. Bandito hangout, I reckon. You just know it, don't you? You just know it. I wish you could do some, like, super cool stealth kill. Oh, I didn't see that notification. What was that? Fox lives do matter, for sure, yeah. Oh, there. Oh, a new subscriber. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, I wish... Um, yeah, I wish there was some, like... Oh, no. Hello. Nay. Are you Are you not an enemy? You really have... Hold it. This here's ah. a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. You just made that up. 
You literally made that up on the spot. She was just like, like, um, he looks quite wealthy. Uh, 200, 200. Though. Yeah. How about you let me through and I don't kill you? Think of it. That sounds fair. Just oh shove my. off before the others notice. What a bandit. You just did not want any trouble. I respect that. Get on your way before I change my mind. I love that. Yeah, no, but she she valued her life. <laughs> love that. Oh hey there, Minor Tom, nice to see you. Bunch of bandits. Th that was pathetic though, wasn't it? She was not interested. Her, you could just hear her heart wasn't in it. She was just sort of like, Whoa, okay, don't want trouble. Uh, they look mental. But, you know, I'll... I'll. She was... It was like a salesman in a, in a shop or something that just really doesn't want to be there. Trying to sell some insurance. And she's like, Oh, um, hey, uh, yeah, this is um, uh, like a toll road, so... Maybe if you give me, um, I don't know, like 200 gold, is that, oh, hello. Rabbits should not jump out on me, because last time that happened, they got shot. Um, but yeah, she's like, oh, just 200 sound a bit too much. And I'm like, look, look, love, uh, how about you just turn the other way and I'll uh, head straight past. And we'll pretend this conversation never happened. And she says, you know what? Good deal. Probably the best deal she's ever made, though. Oh, don't tell me that, Logan. Logan, why did you have to tell me they've got good loot? Eh? Last time it was Olivia telling me to try and get Lydia to steal horses, and then we end up having an epic Mongol horse archer fight. Getting Lydia killed. And now you have to tell me that the peaceful bandito is actually a part of a, a very valuable tower stash. So obviously I'm going to have to go back and kill them all. I'll tell you what, you lot are just a seriously bad influence. Let's get the bow out. And now I could love a killer headshot. There is a little bit of dip, but I'll just line it up and see. Oh, I actually did get her. Oh, she didn't appreciate that. No, no, she didn't appreciate that at all. All right, the friend is a long way off. I don't know if you can even see her on the misty bridge. Oh, you're getting some buffer in Olivia. That is unacceptable. You might have missed the, the slow mo. I wonder if you missed it. I'm just watching the stream back. Hopefully, hopefully you got that. Okay, if this bandito stays still long enough, come back in the tower. we try a walk in don't know how long it takes to travel oh I actually got that no I tried to guess their trajectory but they oh game over <sighs> brutal that was brutal alright there's quite a few of them did you see that seriously like she got sh oh they got shot off the bridge I was quite happy with that Alright, there's another one. Not that time. Oh, they stopped. I'm just trying to guess the trajectory again. I can barely even see that person, but there's enough. No. Oh, they're coming. Oh, they saw me. Shouldn't have moved. Oh, hello. Oh, they're fighting Lydia. 
bandit chief. Let's get stuck in. Cat claws out. Cat claws out. Oh. Oh. Got him with his face then, sorry about that. Bandit chief didn't stand a chance. Um, I think it's my mace only nine damage. Maybe that is any. Some new fancy armor as well. I feel that's a slight upgrade. Let me just check out my stuff. Oh, there's more enemies. Alright, let's deal with the enemies first. We deal with the enemies first, Lydia. Oh, I'm overburdened. They've got archers as well. Flipping hell. Um, Alright, I'll drop. Yeah, I'll drop that. Back to the boat. Somewhere. I see you. I see you in the mist. You're a long way away. No, nope, I'm never gonna get this, am I? Not when they're walking side to side. Ooh, I thought I actually might have. Okay, I'll get up on the bridge. Let's get up on the bridge. That was just a bit of suppressing fire. Yeah, oh, is there some nasty rodent in here? Ah, sorry you've had some buffering. <laughs> Ah, uh, so, sorry you've had some buffering, that's a real shame. There was some nice archery going on there as well. I hope that didn't... Ooh, some very fancy armor. It's pretty valuable. Um, okay, but maybe if I take that and swap out the regular version of that. Oh, I'll be gutted if you miss some of that archery. Like, the guard that... The bandito that got shot off the bridge. That was a personal favourite. Yeah, that is that is pretty fancy stuff. Isn't it? Pretty fancy stuff. Not useful for me as I'm not really casting spells and stuff, but good for its value. Though. Is that supposed to be a trap? It's just like a dangling morning star, like a mace. Was that supposed to do something? I guess. What's in the dresser? Merchant's boots. Cool. Get the sneak going again. Where's that? Oh, there they are. Not sure how much dip to compensate for here. Oh, it just gets a clean headshot. Oh, goodness. Gosh, he didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Yeah, I was living that horse stuff. Oh, you saw it. Cheers, Logan. <laughs> but that guy, he didn't stand a chance, did he? That, I, that was horrible. Oh, there's another one. Nothing on my little radar. Can they be in the... Lydia. Oh. Where are they? Are they upstairs? They must be. Get the cat claws out. Well, cat claws out. Oh. Oh. Come on, what are you gonna do? Give up while you still can. Huh? Oh. She's putting a brave fight up, but yeah. Didn't really work out. Oops, I picked up something I didn't mean to pick up. Yeah, it didn't really work out for that, did it? Alright, well that was fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed that horse combat. I want some more of that. I was proper getting into it. Like, 
Because I'm I'm playing very casually, you know what I mean? And and this this mouse isn't great and it's late and la 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 la. But uh, and yeah, I'm a very rusty gamer. But uh, yeah, I was actually really getting into that. I, I quite enjoyed the challenge. Blacksmith shoes. Because I feel like I should be playing this on a higher difficulty as well. Like like I said before, this is just adept, which is sort of the middle difficulty. But taking out these bandits is not really a challenge. Like, I'm never really worried that I'm going to get killed. I think that's why I went into that dragon fight so lazily as well. Um, I was like, oh, it's not going to do that much damage, and it actually did. Anything else fun in here, apart from these carrots? And potatoes. I mean, that's useful, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to miss something spectacular. I mean, that armor was pretty decent. That was worth quite a lot. Yeah, look at this. The dude that got shot off the bridge. Nothing left but a bow. Ooh, 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 there, ooh, there it goes. Oh, <laughs> Quite lucky there that the uh, the water just broke my fall so beautifully. <laughs> Nearly went the way of the of the guard. Come on, Lydia, stop being silly. <laughs> so humble. <laughs> I am amazingly humble. Any more banditos? Are these just full of food? That's not. That's not what I'm here for. Let's have some privacy. Ooh. Um. Okay. Probably. In. Is that what? What? What am I gonna do with that? Uh, books. Oh, should we have a story time? Should we have a little story time? Spirit of Nern. What's Logan saying? I was always afraid of losing Lydia and my horse, so I only took them when needed. Same as the dog, but he ran away because I never took him anywhere. <laughs> oh, good times, Logan. Lorcan is the spirit of Nern, the god of all mortals. This does not mean all mortals necessarily like him, or even know him. Most elves hate him, thinking creation as that act which sundered them from the spirit room. Most humans revere him, or aspects of him, as the herald of existence. The creation of the mortal plane, the Mundus, Nern, is a source of mental anguish to all living things. All souls know deep down they came originally from somewhere else, and that Nern is a cruel and crucial step to what comes next. What is this next? Some wish to return to the original state, the spirit realm, and that Lorcan is the demon that hinders their way. To them, Nern is a prison, an illusion to escape. Others think that Lorcan created the world as the testing ground for transcendence. To them, the spirit realm was already a prison. That true escape is now finally possible. That was a much shorter book than some. I wonder if the books do generally get a little bit shorter, because they some of those opening books that you come across, they were they were like dictionaries. They were like like War and Peace. Um Alright, level up time. I forgot how to level up because I'm special. Um Seriously, what but what key is it to level up? I'm sure it said before. Um, <laughs> help me. Here we go. Tab, tab. Of course. Um, let's level up. I honestly don't feel like I really need health. Stamina's kind of nice. Yeah, some of the books, honestly, like some of those that I was reading on the first stream of. Skyrim. I actually had to quit because I was like, this is going to take about 20 minutes. I'm impressed that they've written those, though. And knowing that probably not so many people are actually going to read them all. 
Um, okay, what shall we add to? I'm gonna put this out to the to the stream. What shall I upgrade? Anything you want. What should we go for? Choose. Choose wisely. Can't go wrong with a bit of archery. Vote. Vote, Fox fans. Michael's going archery. It's the first one in. Any other votes? Oops. Come back. Come back. No. Ugh. Ugh. Logan says archery too. Fair play. We have got a Mongol warrior here. 20% more damage. That's pretty considerable. Happy about that. <laughs> Jinx owe me a coke. Oh, Olivia went sneak, but not this time. Maybe next time. Okay. Well, that was a lovely experience. Anything else to be discovered in here? More shoes and a merchant's hat. Someone is dressing to impress. Ooh. Garlic. There must be vampires around. Oh, they've actually got an alchemy lab. Very cool. I don't know how this works. I don't even know if I ever tried this. I wonder if I actually have anything I can make. Um. Okay, do you have to figure this out yourself? I'm guessing there are books that you can come across that give you some instructions. It's always sneak archer, I know it's the classic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, do you like just getting stuck in with the melee, Logan? But yeah, sneaky archers are a classic, aren't they? I love how you can just take the drum. Oh no, look at all these books. Shall we raid the whole bookshelf? Shall I read another one? How long is this? Yeah, you see. That was pretty... That was pretty long. I'll, I'll take it though. At least for another time. <coughs> Dancing Fire Chapter 4. Okay, I've got some catching up to do there. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Got to expand this Skyrim book collection. This is Volume 7. Are taken from the so-called Riemann Manuscript located in the Imperial Library. Oh, right, okay. We'll have that. Add it, add it to the pile. Ooh, we've got a... This is a story for Teresa, maybe. The Mystery of Princess Talara. Part 1. <laughs> I want a doggy. Just eat your ingredients for now. Yeah, read some occasionally. It's awesome. Logan says, I once filled my house with troll skulls. It crashed my game. <laughs> nice. Good times, Logan. The year was 3E405. <laughs> Third age or something? I don't know. The occasion. 3E405. The occasion was the millennial celebration of the founding of the Breton Kingdom of Camborne. Every grand boulevard and narrow alley was strung with gold and purple banners. Some plain, some marked with the heraldic symbols of the royal family, or the various principalities and dukedoms which were vassals of the king. Musicians played in the plazas great and small, and on every street corner was a new exotic entertainer. Red guard snake charmers, Kajiti acrobats, magicians of genuine power, 
and those whose flamboyant skill was equally impressive, if largely illusion. The sight that drew most of the male citizens of Camlorn was the march of beauty. A thousand comely young women, brightly and provocatively dressed, danced their way down the long, wide main street of the city, from the temple of Seviet to the royal palace. The menfolk jostled one another and craned their necks, picking their favourites. It was no secret that they were all prostitutes, and after the march and the flower festival that evening, they would be available for more intimate business. Should I, I don't know if I should read this on. <laughs> is, it, is this a story? This was not quite the princess story I hoped for. It's a lengthy one as well. Oh my goodness me. I'm just, I'm skim reading some of this. It's another world, isn't it? It's another world. Alright, I'll save that one for later. What else have we got? <laughs> the song of Phone of Okay, I'll we'll take that as well. Well, short life of Uriel, September 7th. <laughs> Indeed, Michael. I'm taking them all, Logan, whether valuable or not. But yeah, could be useful. Am I am I too heavy again? Right on the money. Um, something in apparel must be heavy and <sighs> worth getting rid of. I'm not going to use this heavy armor, but that's quite valuable. I think they're pretty, um, they're pretty common, to be honest. But I'm never sure what's worth keeping. What's in here? Mm -hmm. Nice little skull. All right, I think we're done. I think we're done in here, Lydia. Sorry for making. No, no, we are not done. This is the piece de resistance. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Lydia. She must be terribly bored. Okay, nothing too exciting. Um, but yeah, my mace is damage 11. Okay, we'll see. Okay, good to know, Logan. Good to know. Are <laughs> they under copyright? <laughs> I know, I could have got myself in trouble just reading that now, actually. The um, Skyrim developers, like Bethesda and everything, they'll be, they'll be sending me an email tonight about that. Wardrobe? This place just keeps on giving. It's an absolute mansion house. Is there any point taking this one? More, more. Ooh, a roll of paper and another little book. You, th you never know when a roll of paper might come in handy. If you want to just take a few notes. I wish there was actually a, a reason to sleep, because, like, you know, you don't fatigue. Unlike me right now, I'm fatiguing pretty hard, but you can use it to pass time, obviously, but that's pretty valuable also. Oh, and it was actually one of these that um, adds to your XP. That's pretty cool. How lengthy is this? Fairly. Hmm. I'm sort of curious about this one with it being about archery, but I'll skip it for now. Although I will take it, of course. Um, bit of gold. I'm glad I I um, raided this little place. It's been fun. I feel a little bit bad, as always, about the lost lives and everything. But ooh, look at that! It's a cracker. 
again, I'm going to have to throw some stuff away though. Ooh, more fancy stuff. Oh, this, this was it, wasn't it? Oh, this was it. This was where all the good stuff was being kept. Okay, now I need to throw away some, some stuff. That's only weight one. No, that was the jackpot. Um, alright, I'm... No. I wish I could sort this by heaviest to lightest. Maybe that's me just being lazy. Like, I don't even have that much heavy stuff now. Mm. Look at that. Not actually that much damage, but... Um, fills a soul gem. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what to throw away. Um, okay, definitely that. It's not exactly heavy, but... Hmm. I feel like I must be weighed down with books. <laughs> They're only one. I'm glad that books don't have realistic weight, because this stuff would kill you in real life. Well, those dragon bones are pretty heavy, but very valuable. Hmm. I'm going to have to get rid of my troll skull. I'm sorry, Logan. What happens if you store? Can you actually turn into a werewolf? If you get uh, if you get attacked by one, I, th I feel like I've heard this, but um, but yeah, if you store things, where do they go? I've never been sure about that. Oh, that's just storing it in the chest. Like, I can dump things in the chest, and I guess you can come and collect them at a time if you want. That's cool. That makes sense. Um, okay, but I'm going to get rid of the skull, Logan. I'm not going to have a skull collection, unfortunately. It's absolutely massive. Yeah, in the beginning, beginning of World War gnarly. I attacked the Yarl once to see what would happen. It was a blood. Yeah, but <laughs> did you actually manage to kill the yacht as a werewolf? That's ridiculous. I've tried fighting all those guards in White One, by the way, but they absolutely smash it. Oh, there's a fancy bow up here as well. Anyway. I don't want to get rid of that Nord bow. It's pretty cool. Damage 11. Um. Oh, my eyes are getting tired. Where's this other bow? Um, hunting bow of sparks. It's not even that good, but it's... It's, um, it's valuable, though. So, in the pocket it goes. In the pocket it goes. Is there not... Have I not got another one-handed weapon? Yeah, there's just this. Damage eight. But I can use this for fun. It's not going to make that much difference. I'll get rid of the old mace. It served me well. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> yeah, those guards are absolutely mental. Yeah, like... Um, when, you know, I signed off after that second Skyrim stream, I signed off, but before I headed to bed, I just had a little go at the guards, because, you know, I'd sat down in that chair by the fireplace or whatever. I thought, alright, let's have a little go at the guards. It's only on adept difficulty, but they absolutely sent me to Chinatown. It was a it was a mess. I, I tried everything, like all sorts of sneaky tactics and stuff, but no. No. It wasn't happening. They are hard as nails. Okay, I think we're done here. I think we're done here, everybody. Let's get out of here, Lydia. I 
I tell you what, Michael, if I'd have had that horse and my bow, then, then I'd have been alright. I'd have slowly worn them down. Just pure. Pickaxes are actually pretty decent. Damage 6. I missed this little healing. Uh, potion. Yeah, if I'd have had my horse, I'd have had my bow. Full on Mongol horse archer style, I'd have been fine. This seems like a very silly way to go. Um, yeah, let's. Lydia, what do you reckon? Should we go the river way? Just take the river all the way. What, what do you reckon? She doesn't have much of an opinion on things. She just sort of follows you along and gets on with things, really. She doesn't really complain. Not particularly talkative. Looks like we're going to have to swim the, the river, Lydia. Come on. She's, she's very resilient. We do swim well as well, to say how heavy we are. And like like I said, this is with the with this realism mod added as well, apparently, so you know, you're supposed to be an even better swimmer without it. Yeah, next time Faye I'll I'll come better prepared. For the white run guards. All right, how far away are we? Not too crazy. Not too crazy. Come on, Lydia. This is a bit of a detour. Let's get the bow ready. You never know what's going to pop out. Those little wolves, they like to pop out sometimes. Say hello. I do like the music that just accompanies you as you go. It's quite soothing. Yeah, right, okay. Not incurable, that's pretty cool. You need some wolf spin. How do you become a werewolf then? Do you have to hang around... Oh, what was that? Do you have to hang around at night from time to time? I told you wolves like pop out. You really scared me out of my pyjamas. Go on, Lydia. Finish it off. Oh, fuck. I'll do it, I'll do it Lydia. Yeah, how do you become a werewolf? Wanted my arrow back. Wanted my arrow back with you. <laughs> the champions in white run. How do you mean? Oh, wait, the banditos. Oh, oh, we got innocence here. I see another fox in the distance. What's this all about? Hello? Oh, you're friendly. Friendly villagers, right? Being escorted by some imperial guardsmen. Poor rabbit. Come along, no more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far flung end of the Empire? Have anyway? they been escorted? told you it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well-connected merchant with the East Empire Company. Emperor's cousin... What's going on here? Excuse me. Hopefully these gifts will put us in her good Hello. Places. Yes? Secure that import deal and lead the way to an audience with the Emperor. Get away from me! Oh, wow. Trash. Oh, go, go, okay. Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long <laughs> journey and paid too much coin on Don't these gifts. Don't bother me, peasant. You having a bad day, eh? OK. 
Okay, okay. I feel there's a few things I need to look into by the sounds of it. Alright, are we still on track here? Yes. Not far now. To the old grey beards. This looks a little bit bandity as well, doesn't it? Could be storm plucky, but don't see any movement. Nobody on the walls. Detected. Are you joking? Okay, there is somebody on the wall. And somebody down there. Okay, we'll just go and say hello. Come on, Lydia, let's stop being sneaky. I'm sure they're very friendly. Yeah, you look friendly, don't you? Yeah, you are friendly. Oh what is your problem? I was just coming to say hello, see what, what was it. Oh, good job, Lydia. Wow, what happened to you? I think that one just committed suicide. Anymore? Can't just be two. What has gone on here? That's close enough. We've been having a scrap. Here we go. Oh, they're on the wall. <laughs> Still don't know what happened to that other one that was on the wall. Oh, that must have been close. Is that, is that an enemy or is that Lydia? <laughs> it was Lydia. <laughs> Sorry, Lydia. I had to check. Sorry about that. Just because you're walking into the wall in a very suspicious manner. Oh, where did you Oh, wow. Where is this other? I'm not healing. We don't need to heal. We're fine. We're a tough cat. Oh, I might regret that. Go on, Lydia. You've got this. Potions. is cooked. Yeah, and these are always a nice find, to be honest. Sorry, sorry, lady. Whoa, 926. Sorry. Beg your pardon. <laughs> Logan's getting worried. <laughs> shout, Dragon Boy. Yeah, I need to use that shout as well. I keep forgetting about it. I need to drop something again. I don't know what to get rid of. Um, what's my least valuable? To be fair, that's all. Uh, there must be something I can get rid of. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this. Um. On, something heavy. Hmm. 
Maybe this. It's not a special item at the end of the day, is it? It's only weight six, though. Okay, Logan. Uh, but I think it's just because the difficulty isn't... Um, yeah, isn't at this stage so challenging, so I guess it's not really drawing me to use all my available tools. Um, it's like, yeah, when I've been playing Battlefield Online recently, man, like some people are absolutely ridiculously good at that game. It really brings out the best of you. You have to... Like, if you don't give it 100%, you're just going to get absolutely owned. And when you're a low level as well, you know, so you have a lot less equipment than most people as well. Oh, cool. That is cool. More valuable rock. Sorry. I like such a perv. Uh, let's just have a little wander around downstairs as well. So this chest. It's a cool little hangout, this. It's not so good. A little alchemy lab. Very nice. Ooh, very valuable amulet. Oh, it's pretty valuable. Activate. What's this going to do? Okay, other blessings removed. I don't think I had a particular blessing at the at the time. There's so many details in this game. Have I missed anything else down here? Ooh, down into the prison. Okay. I'm not. I, I'm not sure what to do because I want to save it soon and head to bed. It's four in the morning. So, I, but I was thinking of getting to the Greybeards, but I mean, I could always come back here. Because now I'm sort of tempted to investigate this fort and this prison. Um, but, you know, I can come back. I wanted to get to the Grey... Uh, have they been sacrificing people? What has been going on here? Um, but, yeah. I sort of wanted to get to the Greybeards and save it there not that far but with all these all these distractions and there's this 9,000 step staircase to go up so maybe I should save it here what battlefield Michael um, I've just been playing it a couple of evenings um, yeah like, yeah, a couple of evenings, like normally, um, like after dinner or something like that. I don't really have a set time, I've not really thought about it, but just like when I've wrapped up whatever editing I've been doing that day or recording or whatever, I've just been playing a little bit. It's been very chill. Um, but yeah, I'll save here and call it a night for tonight, but um, yeah, do you play yourself, um, Michael? You can always add me a as a friend if you want on um, on Steam or whatever works for you, you know. Um, where's the proper save thing? There we go. Here we go. I'll just overwrite this, it's fine. Yeah. No, it's fine. We'll make it uh, yeah, so you can always add me as a as a friend on Steam if you want. Um, I'm Red Fox Voice on Steam. Oh, when do you stream Skyrim? Yeah, I've never had a set time, Michael. Like, this is the third time I've streamed it. I've streamed it twice um, on Twitch. They were both very late at night, actually. Um, so, yeah, I've never had a set time with it at all. Um, yeah, you've actually stayed up, Logan, haven't you? Bless you. Um... But, um, I mean, if you want to follow me on Discord, Michael, then I'll always um, let people know on Discord when I'm going live, whether it's YouTube or Twitch or anything like that, so. Um, yeah. yeah. But I've been really enjoying the video game streaming. It's just a nice change of pace for me. And, uh, you know, I know I'm really rusty and I could do with, like, a better mouse and keyboard and stuff like that, but... Um, it's good fun. It's good fun. 
And like I said, I've been enjoying some of these real-time strategy games, and it doesn't matter if your setup's not like pro game or standard with real-time strategies. Like you know, you can still play pretty well. Um, as like if you're playing Battlefield or something like that, where you need really smooth mouse and quick actions and everything, the the setup makes a big difference. But I've still been doing all right on Battlefield, like I said. No one near as good as I used to be on Xbox 360, like, no way. Like, I used to be gutted if I wasn't in the top three, four, five players on a server most games, and now I'm like, I'm happy if I'm like, 12th. <laughs> Alright. But I think gaming has got more competitive as well in some regards, so. Alright, well, it's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you honestly thanks so much whether you join me for the gaming here uh, on Skyrim or whether you've been hanging around for some Tamari Prince or Snow White earlier in the day it's been really really nice seriously nice really enjoyed it um, and like I said um, earlier on I'll try and get a little bit more regular with the streams so I had Rumpelstiltskin uh, read last week last Sunday same time pretty much um, and yeah I might throw in some of these video game streaming from time to time and see if some of you want to actually play with me as well like you know if it's if it's chess if it's a video game whatever I think that would be really nice all right take care everybody thanks for hanging out cheers to you Logan for hanging on when it looked like you were gonna go to bed it's been really nice to have you here with Michael and Faye and Olivia and others have been really, really, really nice. Alright. Take care, everybody. I'll leave it here. <laughs> Stay foxy. Read to you soon. Let's get this logged off. It's been good fun tonight. It's been good fun.